Hello, Omen Storm here. We are back with more Lego Brick Tales. Uh, I actually have a bit of bad news to start this off with. So I went and recorded for the desert and that video file got corrupted. So I don't have that at all, but it also kind of made me come to a decision while I was thinking about stuff. I'm just going to do about a 30 minute recording for the medieval worlds or until I get all the missing animals. I'm going to just do the medieval world to finish it off. I'll go collect everything in the other worlds in my off time and such. But I'm going to leave a bunch of stuff for you guys to try and find in your own playthrough. So this is going to end up being the last video I do for Lego Brick Tales. But part of the reason I want to go and leave stuff for you guys to find is to encourage you to go and get the game, play it for yourself because it's a fun game and also it helps support the developers. I am thinking about Okay, I've turned the volume up too loud in my headphones. I'm going to turn that down real quick. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but I am thinking about going and getting the new Lego racing game that came out. But when I go and actually play that is currently uh, up to debate because I can't just go and get new games all the time. I have to pay attention to how I'm spending money. I don't do a very good job with that, but I do have to pay attention to how I spend money and such, so... For right now... I do want to go play the new LEGO game. Don't know when I'm going to do that, so that's that. Uh, let's see, I can go activate this teleporter over here. Uh, as I had said, I lost the save for the desert, so there's not going to be any video on the desert as much as I would have really liked to have had that. And admittedly, if I had not lost the video for the desert, I actually probably would have gone and recorded all of the different worlds and whatnot, maybe just finding the animals, but I think... I think it's fine to just go and finish what I have here. Oh, I'm not going to get that way. Uh, okay. Oh, I do have a whip, so I can get around places now. I was slightly worried about that because I had some issues with finding the whip in other places before. Uh, oh yeah, that lowered that one. <laughs> Oh, dear goodness. I only recorded the medieval thing yesterday, but I've already mostly forgotten everything about that recording, which is slightly embarrassing, but nothing I can really do about that. I feel like I didn't finish my thoughts earlier, and that is bothering me slightly, but I'm not going to worry too much about it overall. Uh, okay, we've got a rabbit here. We've just got five more to go for that. And let's see. I have four more animals to find. Let's see. Can we find any more by moving the camera around? Uh... No, but I should be able to activate that, which will let me get to that other chest, so... I guess that's worthwhile at the very least. And... I did at least figure out, just from going and exploring the desert area, that... I'm not gonna find any... Like, animals or collectibles or whatnot... In the areas where they're teaching you how to use... The new power up or whatnot because that locks all your power ups and if there was something for me to find i most likely did find it while i was going doing that so 
that's not something I need to worry about. Uh, let's see. I need to go check the wizard's house as well. And... How did I get back there again? Uh... There's so many teleporters that I don't remember what teleporter went to what. Oh, dear goodness. I wasn't paying quite enough attention. Okay, there we go. That worked out just fine. But once this recording is over, I am going to go start recording a new game. I think I'm most likely going to do... Uh, what was it called again? Graveyard Keeper? Is that the name? Uh, da, 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 da. let me go check that real quick. Okay, I can't... Oh, wait, yeah, Graveyard Keeper. There we go. <laughs> that I've stood still on game long enough. But yeah, I'm gonna go start recording Graveyard Keeper after this. It's a game I played a very long time ago. Uh, the last time I played it was when its first DLC came out, actually. But I'm gonna play that for... Oh, here we go. We've got... A hermit crab but i'm gonna play that for the next game i record i had considered whether i want to do that for a stream in the future but no i think i'm gonna go ahead and record it just simply because there's a lot of repetitive stuff that i can maybe go and just cut out if I need to but I think I should be good otherwise I and mean, wasn't there something up here with the teleporter that I can get to now because I can actually teleport okay that took me to the egg uh, did I need to go and use this then? Is that what I need to use? No, that takes me to here, which takes me to a valve, which unlocks a different teleporter. Oh, dear goodness. <laughs> uh, the other reason that I'm deciding not to record more stuff at the moment is... I'm starting to cough a lot more, which I think is because I'm doing too much work with my voice after... Well, I'm still not fully healthy. I'm I'm mostly healthy, but not fully healthy. And because of that and me doing talking, I think I'm starting to piss off my throat again. So I'm going to have to, like... Take several days as a break, which <laughs> I admittedly really don't want to do. I want to go and do more recording. I want I want to get back to streaming. But until my coughing is almost completely gone or I know that I'm healthy again, I'm probably not going to do any more recording, though... I am also I am also planning on just kind of waiting till after I can find out plans for when I might visit family too because I don't want to be trying to stream while I'm visiting my family either but who knows uh, this might be getting released after I've gone and visited my family already or it might be getting released while I'm visiting my family. Who knows? I'm going to be spending the month of May trying to do a lot of recording. So we're at 18 of 20 animals now. I don't think that there's going to be anything really of note in here. I see that obnoxious owl. <laughs> Owls are one of my favorite animals. I absolutely hate this owl. I think this is the only owl that I've ever met in a video game that I hate. I don't even hate the owl from uh, Majora's Mask, and almost everybody I know hates that owl. 
Uh, okay, so we still got two animals left to find. Okay, we've got. Uh, okay, we've got to follow that purple thing all the way down there. That will get us both the place that we have to climb with the whip and one part of a teleporter. So I really have no idea what's going on right here. <laughs> Where the heck is that teleporter going to take us, is my current question. Uh, where are we going? Wait a second, it just occurred to me that I... Wait, no, never mind. I remember now, the, uh, top is inside the treasury vault. Which is a place to go and put your shop, I guess. I mean, go and make it... Oh, I collected all the chameleons and I got an achievement called they have no blind spot <laughs> that's kind of neat so oh that gave me a shortcut out of here not at all what I was expecting okay that's fine I guess uh, I am tempted to go do some more work with that banquet table but that will be for another time. We have a teleporter here. What will this teleporter take me to? A uh, treasure chest. Okay. And what did we got? More drumsticks. That's right. That's the only thing we find in a treasure chest in this game. <laughs> okay, it's not the only thing, but currency is the only thing that we find. I was briefly thinking of other games for a moment. Let's see, can I see anything that I can grab? No. I felt really stupid when I was doing the desert one because there was at least two animals that were just right out in the open and I just kind of had to sit there and look at it and it's like, these were really here the whole time and I just walked past them. It's like, okay, that's just embarrassing. But let's go see what we can get in the shop real quick because I currently can't find that last animal. And I'm at least pretty certain that they're not going to be in the shop. So we've got medieval bricks. Let's go ahead and get bright blue. And what are our other... Well, actually, you know what? I have enough. I don't have to choose. I can just get all of the colors. So that will be nice. And I still have enough to go and get something from over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the chainmail and the helmet. Oh, dear goodness. Hopefully amongst all my coffee and I have remembered to mute the mic. Otherwise, that's going to be really bad. Uh, they're really not... An animal down here. No, not that I can see. Okay, so now comes the fun of backtracking to figure out where the heck I've missed an animal. Because we have one animal to find. And knowing my luck, it's going to be a ladybug. That little tiny one stud circular plate ladybug that I have to just find somewhere in the grand scheme of this entire world oh a teleportation thing oh, we also have uh okay that takes me there okay let's take a careful look so we've got a lever there i don't know if that will found it okay so now the question becomes how the heck do I get to this lever because this lever probably triggers whatever the heck I need to do so somewhere around here is going to be something that I need to go and press or switch or whatever so that takes me down here there's nothing there to reveal so let's go ahead run back up here we will 
go run down the stairs and back out front and then we'll start running around with our little x-ray device giving me all sorts of radiation if i keep getting much more radiation then i won't need to have the little bubble active to see my skeleton i'm starting to feel like actually it really is a good question of where the heck might the thing i need to activate be at because i've kind of explored all over this place haven't i it might be way down below but that also doesn't seem right but I might also just be looking for a little purple stud because that was something that I was having to do elsewhere. Yeah, the little purple thing right there. I'm going to activate that, equip the hoverboard, and it's going to take me over here. This is going to activate it. Oh, here's the little lever thing. So, yep, that goes and opens that door. And we will have gone and found last animal for here. Uh, I'm only about half of the time I was expecting this to take, so maybe I'll go ahead and do the city as well. I'll go explore the city as well for the remaining time of the 30 minutes or so. Ah, uh, I've got you bird oh we can also go stop and talk with the uh, guy back in the forest about the chameleons because I have all the chameleons now so let's go do that real quick actually uh, he was in this direction wasn't he I think so was he over here explore the jungle I've already explored most of the jungle, except I still can't find that one last chest. Oh, you found 20 chameleons? Thank you. Now you can study them in peace. Here, take my chest. The one that will appear next to me. And... 50 bananas. That is not the amount that I was expecting, I'll be perfectly honest, but... You know what? That's fine. I I'll need to figure out the proper actually you know what uh how much stuff is left in the shop three things uh, I think I went and got all the colors but I'll worry about that after the recording is done okay so this spit me out over here uh let's see can we get this angle good enough there we go, that's clear. I don't know where the other side of that teleporter is. Got that teleporter there. Uh, da, 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 da. It says it's active, so I shouldn't have to like go and, oh wait, no. Actually, I don't know how to get to that teleporter, and I don't know that I care, because it's not going to get me to any animals. I don't see any animals in this area. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's right. I didn't go to the shop because I didn't have a hundred donuts yet. Uh, we have the rabbit over... Wait, how many animals? I have four animals left to find. That is both not very much and also a very large amount to still have to find. Four is an incredibly small amount, but when you have to go and scour everything, that four feels like a giant number. Oh, it just occurred to me that I'm going to have to go and search all over the place out here to find the mechanism to roll that down. Uh, we've got a bird up there. We've got a teleporter and a bunch of chests, so... Let's go see about finding 
our mechanism to go and roll that down. It's probably going to be over there, but I'm going to still go explore everything first. Oops, that belch got picked up according to the mixer. I apologize for that. Okay, we've got our little thing to spin. Hey, for once I didn't try to start spinning that in the wrong direction to start. <laughs> okay, we're through here. I've got you, bird. Only two more birds to go. We're making a decent amount of progress. Ten donuts. We now can afford the city bricks. And that's not the right upgrade to teleport. No, we need to shock ourselves instead of set ourselves on fire. It just occurred to me that out of my five upgrades, arguably only two of them don't cause me physical harm. <laughs> uh, hover hoverboard, sure, I can like make a mistake and injure myself with that, but it's not going to run the risk of killing me. But like everything else runs a pretty like the water thing that's probably not going to kill me either so i don't really need to worry about it but like the shocking that has its obvious issues the like thrusters that has its own set of like obvious issues and then the huge thing of radiation and if i pull the switch what does that do oh it's a good thing i went over here first i I legitimately thought I had already lowered that. So that was going to be embarrassing if I had went to the other one first. And I need to clear that off to get that activated. And... The other side of the teleporter is down there, so... Uh, does this just take me to the back side? Okay, good. I was not entirely certain whether that was going to take me to the backside or was going to take me to a different area. With how this is, it felt like it was a pretty safe bet to say it was 50-50 chance. Okay, so we've got that. Now, teleport me back. And run back through here. So we can run over to the teleporter and grab that. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, is there any animals that I can see left around here? No, I'm not seeing any animals left around here. Which is fine. Uh, da, 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 I've... I was running over here to go open the chest, that's right. <laughs> I got briefly distracted and my brain's like, you don't need to remember what you were doing anymore. No, not in the slightest. About the only thing I can freaking remember accurately is whenever I'm talking about food, which is... <laughs> I'm not sure whether I should be embarrassed about that or not, <laughs> but... Uh, okay, let's go ride the hoverboard. We've got this chest to open up now, and we've got 50 donuts. That brings us up to a total of 170. Wow, we've really got a stockpile of donuts. <laughs> this is not helping me with my I only remember talking about food remark. <laughs> Just, oh, look, the currency. It's food. And... Well, this is... Okay, we do have a firefighter hat. I was about to say, wait, do we just have parts of the firefighter outfit but not the hat? Medium stone gray, earth green. You know what? I'm going to get that. Dark brown. We'll go ahead and get that. And actually, you know what? We can just get all of the colors. There we go. I'm not too worried about getting the outfits, admittedly. I'll eventually worry about a 100% completion for this, maybe. I actually don't play too many games to 100% completion. If I just absolutely love a game, sure, I'll 
go and play it to 100% completion, but... Is that our last animal? No, that's not our last animal. Okay. But a lot of games, I just don't play them to 100% completion for achievements or whatever. Don't know why that is. Well, actually, I know why it is for some of them. It's just because it doesn't... Yeah. Because I just get tired of it and don't want to do more, but... This I genuinely enjoy, but I still don't know that I enjoyed enough to try and get it to 100% completion after I do this. Some of these shelves, I don't understand how the setup is supposed to be. Oh, that's right. We have that rabbit down there and I have the whip so I can get to not go through here. Everything is underwater on the other side. Uh, okay. Huh. I'm going to have to try and figure out how to fix that, I guess. So... Can I go and... turn this wheel and lower the water? I don't think the game's actually going to give me that as an... Oh, is it? No, that's... That's for that. Okay. So... Okay, come on. There we go. That tends to be slightly annoying trying to get that to work, and hopefully that's still activated that. Uh, that's right. I had to fill these water wells. But this was where I needed to go to get up here anyway, so... <laughs> Run! It's the deadly bunny from Monty Pi- Oh my goodness! Pick up the rabbit. Stop running from the rabbit. It is not the rabbit from Monty Python like I was just about to make a joke of. Dear goodness. My character's running away like it is, though. But we're going to go ahead and call things to an end here. We've gone and found all of the animals in the city, the medieval world, and I think I went and found all the animals in the jungle, too. I don't remember, despite the fact that I recorded that video just a few hours ago. But... Yeah, I'm... This is where we're going to call the LEGO Bricktails series to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this particular video, please leave a like. If you enjoy the content I make, please subscribe to the channel. I hope to... Or I hope you have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And I hope to see you in the next video and whatever my next series might be. Who knows? Maybe by the time this is live on the channel, I'll be back to doing streams. Can I view achievements from that? Okay, that actually brings up the Steam overlay, which I do not want being brought up. Luckily, I don't have that being displayed on OBS as far as I remember. <laughs> Well, once again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching this.